Hi students, uh, in previous class we discussed about Varactor diode and Schottky diode and today class we are going to discuss about photodiode and photoconductive cells. Okay, so the first concept is photodiode. Okay, this, so this is the symbol of photodiode. Right, so its, sum, its symbol is just like PN junction diode only difference is these two arrows. Okay, so inward arrows means it indicates incident light on the PN junction diode. Right, so here uh, it is clearly shown it is PN junction diode. So there is a uh, window at PN junction and light falls uh, on the PN junction through this window. Right, so here the photodiode is a basically PN junction diode. Okay, that can produce current when it is exposed to light. Simply, it converts light into current. Okay, so here the photodiode should be operate in reverse bias condition only. So here the PN junction diode it is connected in reverse bias condition. Okay, so uh, what happens in reverse bias condition? We know that the working of PN junction diode in reverse bias condition, right? Right. So, in reverse bias condition only one current is present that is the reverse saturation current. This current is due to the minority charge carriers that, uh, that minority charge carriers depends on temperature. Right. So, that in reverse bias condition reverse saturation current depends on temperature not on applied reverse voltage. We know that. Right. So, uh, when photodiode is connected in reverse bias condition right when light intensity falls on this uh, photodiode through this window right as the light intensity increases right the minority charge carriers across the pn junction will be increased right so it is designed like that right okay so as the light intensity increases the minority charge carrier number across the pn junction increases Right, so minority charge carriers increases, the reverse saturation current also increases. Right, so here in reverse bias condition, as the light intensity increases, minority charge carriers across the PN junction increases, so that current will be increased. Current will be increased, so that the photo. Uh, so here this current is called as a photo current. This photo current is directly proportional to the light in intensity. As the light, in light intensity increases, photo current also increased, right? This is the VA characteristics for photodiode, right? So, here uh, x axis is the reverse voltage VR and y axis is the reverse current, it, it is in the order of micro amperes, right? Right. So, here uh, when, uh, uh, when absence of the current in the uh, photodiode, when absence of light, that current is called as a dark current okay so even though uh, absence of light okay there, there will be a some minority charge carriers across the pn junction right okay so the current due to that minority charge carriers is called as a dark current okay so dark current is the current in uh, reverse biased uh, pn um, reverse biased photodiode when absence of light right so here as the light intensity increases the current also increases right so here lux is the units for intensity of light right so here it is clearly shown as the light intensity increases so 1000 luminance 1500 luminance 2000 right like that as the light intensity increases the current also increases right so here this current does not depends on the applied voltage it depends on light intensity as the light intensity increases the current also increases right right here question is why should we operate photodiode in reverse bias uh, reverse bias condition only right why should not uh, why should not we operate photodiode in forward bias condition right so in reverse bias condition reverse current is present in forward bias condition forward current is present we know that uh, we know uh, very familiar with working of pn junction diode in forward bias condition and reverse bias condition right right so in reverse bias condition reverse current is in the order of micro amperes right and in forward bias condition the forward current is in the order of milli amperes so it is thousand times more than reverse current right so here the photo current is in the order of micro amperes right right 
so photo current is in the order of micro amperes right so as the light intensity increases photo current also increases so uh, here we can easily identify the change in the photo current according to the light intensity variation in reverse bias condition whereas in forward bias condition forward current is in the order of milli amperes and photo current is in the order of micro amperes that means photo current is very very less compared to forward current okay so even though you are increasing light intensity there is a change in the photo current is in the order of micro amperes only so we can't identify the change in the photo current with respect to intensity of light right so that we should operate photodiode in uh, reverse bias condition only right so these are the various applications of photodiode so photodiode is used as a photo detector in optical communication and uh, it is used um, it is used in optical remote control and smoke detectors so many applications are there right okay so next uh, next concept is photoconductive cell right it is a two terminal semiconductor device whose resistance will vary with with the intensity of incident light okay so here uh, when the uh, um, light intensity increases its resistance will be varied okay right so that uh, it is also called as photoresistive device and light dependent resistor so very important ldr so light dependent resistor photoconductor and photo cell okay these are the another names for photoconductive cell right right so here uh, what is the main difference between photodiode and photoconductive cell in photodiode photodiode is a pn junction diode right so photoconductive cell has no pn junction diode so both photodiode photoconductive cell both are uh, light sensitive devices but uh, photodiode has pn junction uh, photoconductive cell has no any uh, pn junction okay so the most frequently used materials in photoconductive cell are cadmium sulfide and cadmium selenide here mostly cadmium selenide is mostly uh, used practically why because its response time is very good compared to cadmium sulfide okay and this is the symbol for photoconductive cell so here the inward arrows indicates the light intensity as the light intensity increases its resistance will be varied right so uh, coming to working of photoconductive cell okay so in semiconductor uh, in any material two bands valency band and conduction band okay so when the light uh, falls on the uh, photoconductive cells what happens okay so here the electrons in the valency band acquires energy from this light and these electrons are jumping from valency band to conduction band so they become free right so here so whenever the energy of light intensity is more than this band gap energy okay so the electrons in the valency band jump from valency band to conduction band so as the light intensity increases more number of electrons are jumping from valency band to conduction band so that the conductivity increases right so as the light intensity increases conductivity increases so conductivity increases means resistivity decreases right right so as the light intensity increases its resistance will be decreased right so it is the uh, curve for a photoconductive cell right so here x axis is the illumination and y axis is the resistance right so if the light intensity is darker so very lo low light intensity so resistance will be more okay it is in uh, this resistance is called as the dark resistance it is in the order of 10 to the power of 12 ohms right so as the intensity of light increases resistance will be decreased right okay so uh, the ld uh, the ldr or photoconductive cell is practically looks like this okay so the material uh, cadmium selenide material is uh, 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 fabricated on the uh, di diode is in zigzag fashion okay so that uh, so that it uh, so that it offers uh, more resistance variation according to the light intensity okay 
so these are the applications for photoconductive cells okay so the main important application is automatic on off street light uh, street lights and alarm circuit and in industry alarm alert circuits and light intensity meters okay so this is about uh, photodiode and photoconductive cell okay so dear students so i am giving questions to some students okay so the first question is why sh uh, why should we operate photodiode in reverse bias condition only so uh, 1 3 roll numbers 1 3 5 7 9 11 15 19 20 32 37 39 40 45 49 59 these roll numbers uh, have to answer this question okay and next uh, these roll numbers answer to this question how ldr is used as a automatic on off street light okay so thank you